Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in today's video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started using MongoDB in about an hour. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, if you like free stuff, you should probably subscribe because I release free courses every once in a while, when I feel like it. That is all. What the heck is MongoDB? It's a NoSQL database management system that can manage a humongous amount of data. And it's becoming increasingly popular. It's favored by many big tech companies. Unlike relational database management systems, MongoDB uses a NoSQL format to store and retrieve data. NoSQL means not only SQL, it's where data is stored in various formats besides a traditional SQL table. Rather than storing our data in rows and columns with a table using SQL, we store related data as a single document. Think of each document as a single row in a table in SQL. Data in each document is stored as field value pairs, similar to a JSON format, but it's technically BSON, binary JavaScript object notation, but it behaves very similarly for all intents and purposes. The general idea is that data which is frequently accessed together is stored together rather than in separate tables because SQL joins, quite frankly, are a pain in the ass. This is how our NoSQL database is arranged. We have a document. A document is a group of field value pairs to represent an object. A collection is a group of one or more documents. And a database is a group of one or more collections. This makes working with and scaling our database like really, really easy. Before we do begin, there are a few prerequisites for this series. We will be working with document objects I would recommend at least some experience with an object-oriented programming language of your choosing. It doesn't matter if it's Python, Java, C++, C Sharp, JavaScript, doesn't matter, just pick one. So let's get started, I will show you what you need to download. Alright, let's get started everybody. Here is the installation process for MongoDB. So go to this website, mongodb.com, go to Resources, Server, on the left sidebar, go to Installation. Here's a list of different installation tutorials depending on your operating system. I'm running Windows, I'll select Windows. Let's scroll down. We're looking for Install MongoDB Community Edition. All you have to do is follow the numbered steps. Beginning with one, we will go to the Download Center. I'll open this in a new tab because I don't want to close out of this window. Select the current version. Select your platform, again I'm running Windows, and the installation package, I'll keep that the same. And download. Pick a place to save the installer to. I'll keep it within my documents folder, but you choose your own place. And I will open this when it's done. So we're going to click Next, accept the license agreement, Next, Complete, Install MongoD as a service, make sure that's checked. Next, also be sure to install the MongoDB Compass program. It's a graphical user interface. Then give it a couple minutes. Now that MongoDB is installed, we can finish. This may open Compass. Compass is a graphical user interface for managing our database. We'll be using Compass intermittently. In fact, I recommend creating a desktop shortcut. You just have to open it. Then to establish a connection, you hit the green connect button. I'll be using Compass intermittently just to show you how everything works. Let's also install the MongoDB shell. To install the shell, we're going to go to the left sidebar. And where is it? There, MongoDB shell, also known as Mongosh, like oh my gosh. We are going to go to the download center. Select the current version. Select your platform. I'm running Windows. And the package, we'll keep that the same, and download. We'll open this when it's done. We will unzip this folder. So right click, extract all. We will need the file path to the executable. Let's open this folder, go to bin, and we can copy this file location. Let's right click on our executable, go to properties, copy this file location. It should be within the bin folder. Then we're going to add that file path to our environment variables. Really, we can just search for 
environment variables. We're within system properties. Go to the advanced tab, environment variables. Underneath system variables, let's pretend that this wasn't here. Click new. Come up with a variable name. Mongo sh is good. Then paste that file location. Hit OK. OK. And close. So if we go to that folder and open the executable, this is the MongoDB shell. I'm going to make the font size a little bit bigger. To establish a connection to our database, type Mongo sh. And that should establish a connection. To clear your screen, type CLS. To exit, type exit. Personally, I don't like using this executable by itself. I like using VS Code. If you would like to use VS Code for using the shell, here's how. If you would like to use VS Code for using the shell, here's how. So within VS Code, we're going to download the MongoDB extension. So go to Extensions. Search for MongoDB. It should be this one. We will install this extension. There should be a new icon for MongoDB. Let's click on it. To establish a connection, we just have to click on localhost. The MongoDB connection was successful. Then to open our terminal, right click, launch MongoDB shell. Let's minimize this. Close out of this window, pull up this terminal. We are utilizing the MongoDB shell with VS Code. So to exit, you type exit. To establish a connection, you can type Mongo SH. To clear your screen, you can type CLS. And that is everything you need to know to get started.